Hey, real fam, it's me. I'm back with another video. Today is a gorgeous day. It's gorgeous out here, so I just had to take a nice long walk. I think I just started, I haven't gotten anywhere yet, but just walking. So, of course, I'm gonna do a video, why not? So, I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some questions about anything just send me something that you wanted me to do a video topic about and somebody sent me a question actually one of my cousins one of my younger cousins that i've missed so much I haven't seen her in a long, long long time but she sent me a question and the question is what is your definition of love hmm that's pretty interesting because At the end of everything, all I care about is love. Um, my definition of love is being loved unconditionally. When someone loves you unconditionally, you will get this feeling of, I don't particularly know how to describe it, but when someone loves you unconditionally, they'll pretty much do anything for you. They'll be, be there by your side all the time. Whenever you need them, regardless if you're wrong or right, they will be there to help you through anything. And the definition, I guess my definition of true love is just that. Someone who's always by you, regardless of everything. They're by you when you need to cry. They're by you when you're depressed. They're next to you when you're going crazy in your head. They're next to you when you're happy. They're next to you when you're sad and when you can't sleep at night. They're next to you through all your PTSD moments. And they take up slack a lot of times. Now, I'm not saying that I shouldn't be, um, what's the word? Reciprocated, because yes, it should. If that person loves you and you love them back unconditionally, I don't mean with conditions, I mean unconditionally, you guys will both reciprocate to one another as far as what you want and need in your life. You guys will both bounce it off of each other and it'll work that way. But if that person does not love you unconditionally, you won't get those set things I just mentioned. You won't get that person being there for you whenever they can. If you sense that they're starting to make excuses, um, whenever you're going through something and they just can't be there, then you gotta qu start questioning yourself, you know, depending on the situation. Start questioning if that person actually loves you or not. But in my opinion, I've been married for 12 years now. I've been with the same man for 15 years and there's nothing like it. Now, there are a lot of people out there that would uh, tease me, it's happened before. I've got people ridiculing me for being with one person. And I'm like, wow, okay. You don't know what that's like, so you need to shut the fuck up. You don't know what it's like being with one person. How you gonna tell me I'm missing out? I don't think I'm missing out on a goddamn thing. <laughs> yes, I am Polly. I would like another partner, but that will come in time, probably. If it's meant for it to happen, it will come. So I don't believe I'm missing out on being with that one partner, that one partner who loves me, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing cowardly about that or whatever. People. I like the street because for the most part it's empty. <laughs> Except for like occasional trucks. A lot of trucks come through here because there's a lot of warehouses. But anyway. To me, that's what unconditional love is. That person, they don't shame you for every bad thing you do. And they're always there for you. Period. Point blank. No excuses. And you guys reciprocate. To me, that's the definition of love. That's true love. That's true caring. Is when you truly care about somebody, you will do these things. And that's just, that is what it is. There's nothing like being loved by at least one person. And that person, like I said, they adore you. 
Yeah, you guys can get each other's nerves, of course. I mean, that's life. Everybody's gonna get everybody's nerves. It don't matter. It don't have to be, it doesn't even have to be romantic love or anything. People are gonna get on each other's nerves. We're human, of course. But unconditional love has gone completely out the window these days, and I don't like it. I thought marriages are breaking up. Um, families are breaking apart. There's so much evil, wicked stuff going on these days. It is scary beyond reason, you know? And sad. More sad than scary. It's just sad. Because a lot of people are left alone. And yeah, it is what it is. And there's another truck. Anyway, um, I hope I answered that question. I hope I answered it pretty well. I hope you find love. I hope everybody watching this video finds unconditional love because there's nothing like it. Even though you may talk about divorce, you may joke about it, and you may say certain things, even though yeah, you shouldn't joke about it, but you, it might come up sometimes, you know? In like certain really heated battles, you might think you want to divorce. But if you truly love that person unconditionally, you're not going to divorce, you know? No matter what y'all go through, that's the point of marriage. Y'all supposed to go through everything together. And if y'all can't go through everything together, then perhaps y'all are not meant to be. Or perhaps that person needs to mature a bit before y'all engage further. Because if not, wow, you guys are just going to keep hurting one another. And that's not good for anyone, you know, especially when you have kids involved and whatnot. So, yeah, that's my definition of love. Um, I think I answered that, I guess. Hopefully I did. If you have any more questions or comments, write them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go and enjoy my walk. And, yeah, this day is beautiful. It is generally quiet around here, so, yeah. I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute and week <laughs> thank you for watching